Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic. Working Army Hall. With Catherine. <laughs> I'm slowly trying to organize. So. so today, I had a goal of trying to find more scrubs because I'm pretty much a home health care aide, basically. You know, plus taxi service. <laughs> so, you know, when you do laundry and you're in your own clothing, no matter how careful you are, somehow that one little dot of bleach seems to end up on your clothing. So, after finding a dot of bleach on my black jacket, I'm like, okay, fine. I'm just going to have to find more, you know, uniform clothing. And I have two. One's MIA. I think there's another one. I'm not sure. So I figured, okay, I'll grab some more, put them to the side. I will have uniform. So <laughs> that was my main quest. But I found other goodies besides. So the first thing I picked up was I needed a little box that would fit in another box that this might fit in for like my price tags. I have like bigger price tags and littler price tags that make things look a lot nicer than what I had. So that's what I've been doing. <laughs> and for said price tag, I've got like a little, those little guns that you find the, the flags. Well, you've seen them in various halls, those little plasticky things, but I don't have too many of them. You're really kind of annoying. So it's like squirrel. Stop. But uh, I was online and I kind of wanted something that would be good for like jewelry, something I could put in a circle. Like those little plastic thingies you find when you buy a watch. And why, dear God, Walmart is a tiny watch, $20, I don't know. So I look on Amazon, kind of find what I want. And I think it was like a thousand or something like that for like $10, but it would cost that much in shipping. So I found. 5,000 of them for like $12 and it was like free shipping. So I, I will never need another one of these little duplicates ever again. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> so they're like little security things and they're perfect. So <laughs> I'm rather happy. So with my finished tags that I, you know, will have ready to put on stuff I've made, I wanted to put in a little box. So I found this random old box for 50 cents. Can go. Eh. I don't know what this would have been used for. Definitely old. Sometimes you find these things in antique stores and they're like 20 bucks for them, so I don't know, but it's gonna hold tags. I, I picked up kind of like a fancy blue one and they wanted like a buck fifty. I'm like, I don't care what the hell it looks like as long as it's the right shape and size and you. So, fancy, maybe old can. Yay. And the actual. Oh. I got crap all over my face. Okay. The actual uniform part. You know, you kind of want something that's a little more you. I found one that was kind of pretty, but I'm like, it's pretty to look at. Do I actually want to wear it? So I put that one back. So I found for a buck each. I try to extract something from thing. Okay. okay. Trying to figure out where the things end. I found this Peaches uniforms. And I like this, you know, scrubs specifically because of the way the pockets are. And this one kind of got me because I think this is a fellow cat person. So <laughs> Cuz you know, the nice big pockets in the front which is good for the quarters and the phone. The things I need to bring with and I thought this was kind of neat because you've got your standard black cotton, but you've got this um, softer material with a little bitty pocket right there, right on the shoulders. So I thought that was kind of neat. So it was a little different and they're, they're all going to be freaking huge, basically. I can't find once in a blue moon, you find one that's actually my size. But as long as they're practical, I'm not really, you know, overly concerned about too, too big. Some of them are like, you know, you could put the Russian circus in there. <laughs> and I thought 
stuff that's just kind of neat. You know, makes it a little less boring than just plain black. I don't know if you're picking any of this up in the lovely light here. So, I was happy about that. And this is something that, you know, being a work outfit, don't care if I get messed up. So, prefer not to, but, you know, <laughs> just in case. So, I'm going to put that up on a hanger. Ooh. So, I thought that was kind of cute. And today was weird because you had yellow half off, blue was a dollar, but the blue, red, and sticker, you know, the tags and stickers were half off. Of course, I found not a damn red thing in the building. <laughs> so it's like, okay, and that was only for that, that particular store. Couldn't find one thing with a red. Oh well, at least blue didn't let me down. And speaking of blue, see, this is what I was talking about, those type of things. I found this. Now, I thought this was cute because it reminded me of a quilt, which I am in the process of going to be doing shortly. <laughs> but more, more of a couch cover than a quilt. But, you know, having done that type of thing, this was like, so me. And I thought it was kind of cool anyways. And I like, I don't know if it's picking up, the kind of rough around the edges of each square. So it's, it's very tech... Yes, it's a textile, but it's got texture. <laughs> it's a textured textile. Yeah, schmitz my eyeball. So, that was pretty darn cool. And this one's a little more my size. And this is from Cherokee. So I thought that was darn cute. And it's the same all the way around. And the size is... This has definitely been through the wash and then some. Because the size is all squishy. Genuine comfort and durability. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I like the fact that it doesn't have the... Uh, stringy things on the side which are always annoying so happy about that so i have some cute uniform tops and <laughs> i figured well you know especially with my quest for pants there you know once you find the pair that fits you don't want them screwed you know <laughs> so i'm like okay well i've got the tops fine i should find some bottoms too but i don't want to look like i've just walked out of surgery either even though i would very much love to wear my pants that i've splattered in blood check near the beginning of my show that, you know, that this past Halloween, but the Halloween before, the whole, you know, brain surgeon outfit, those pants. <laughs> that goes with my medic shirt. and That I would love to go <laughs> when I'm taking somebody to the hospital with a blood spattered pants and the shoes, yeah. Haven't quite got that yet, but maybe. So, actually, I should wear those shoes <laughs> when I'm waiting. When you have to work in a place where I am, you know, where I have to be, it's so appropriate. Anywho, Pants. Found. I hate white, but at least if you bleach it, you'll never know. <laughs> so basically, these are going to be very crappy work pants. Mm. So, you know, I tried to avoid the, you know, surgeon blue. I was hoping to find, like, black or something. A little more me, but this is sheer practicality. Medium, made in Vietnam. And they just call them scrubs color white, just in case you can't figure that out. And I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to have to cut the cut the bottoms off because, you know, I'm 15,000 feet too tall. But this is cool. It's a double pocket. So instead of having two separate pockets, you got a pocket here and a pocket here. Should have made it a little deeper, though. So that was kind of cool. And a drawstring, which is always useful. And a butt pocket. <laughs> wow, this thing's got pockets up the wazoo. What the heck? You got the side pockets, you got the pocket pockets, and you got the butt pockets. Pockets! Plus the pockets on the front. Man, that'd be like cargo. <laughs> so, yay me! So these are my work pants. Even though I hate white. <laughs> I should <laughs> do something with them. Of course, the temptation to spot them with, you know, the paint blood would be far too strong for me. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave them alone. So that was my uniform section. Is it boiling in here. And the final thing I got was something that he was sitting there for months and months and months. And I think he was originally $10. And I'm like, nee, it's kind of steep. But I think, wow, 110 14 So he's been there since January at least. Just sitting there. And I think See, it doesn't say he's a set. No, he's separately. 
And she's like, well, you don't want the, the other one, which is like a bride. And I'm like, hell no. I found him who you knew was eventually going to come home with me. And I loved the little uniform he's got. Now, I don't know. I don't think it's handmade. Now, he, he looks like he's kind of been through the ringer. Nope, I don't think you've been pee peed on, but you. He's even got his little shoes and everything. And came with a stand. You can tell he had like January's worth of, what, five months worth of dust on him. And I, I don't know anything about this cute little fellow. Oh, his arms are movable. Okay. The one sleeve short one. Okay. Anyway, it's like technical issue with your uniform, sir. There we go. But now I'm thinking he's definitely World War II. <laughs> the buttons are really kind of ambiguous there, but ugh. you know, as far as like what section of military he's supposed to be representing. I'm thinking army because of his little hat and his little signet uniform thingy. <laughs> and I liked the fact that he is kind of dirty and mucky. Like, he's been in battle, you know? <laughs> that he's not crisp clean straight from the draft, you know? So he, he was eight dollars and he had to come home with me. He you know <laughs> you know how I love the World War Two air World War One era army stuff. So I have army, I have Air Force. Except I don't think it was called Air Force then. I don't know. Was the Air Force the Air Force by World War One? I? I don't know. If anybody knows, to tell me. I should know. <laughs> if it was called that officially, I'm not sure. But yes, he he was just adorable. So it definitely reminds me of like grandpa's uniform. Yeah. <laughs> and he was army, so. And he's just a cute bear in and of himself. I want to call him Maximilian. I'll never remember your names though. But tell me he's not the cutest little thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I could talk about him all day, as I'm now drenched in sweat. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Do comment down below if you've seen little guys like this. Do rate a thumbs up for cute little military bears. Saluting. And subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. Bye! Stay hot.